What's up, YouTube? It's your girl, Nisha Never Come to the Neighborhood, and you're not really, but this sounds good, so I'm gonna keep it. Anywho, I'm gonna cherish every moment that I spend in this movie. Yeah, yeah, the way you move your body. we gon' make a motion picture after this party. we gon' start our own movie, don't invite nobody. And for this next scene, it's all I wanna see. I wanna see you take it all out for me. What's up, YouTube? It's your girl, Nisha, and I don't know. Give me a second. What's up, YouTube? It's your girl, Nisha, and I've come to a neighborhood near you or not. What's up, YouTube? It's your girl, Nisha, and I've come to a neighborhood near you. Not really, but this sounds good, so I'm going to keep it. Anywho, I know this video is long overdue. And if you were here today, that means you want to know. Dun, da, 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 the truth. Okay, so today, we're going to be talking about how I found out maintenance was cheating on me with his ex. It's about to be no matter what. Wow, right, wow, right. Well, this dripping here, it called it out for me. Okay, so let's go get to it. But I ain't brushed my teeth in yet, so I'm gonna go ahead and be first. This is not my toothbrush, this is. A little disclaimer. Yeah, we still together. I'm sorry. I am a dumb bitch, ain't it? I know. And I can admit that. How many times you took that nigga back? Oh, okay. Don't say nothing to me. I don't wanna know what I'm okay, I'm gonna rap. So let me brush my teeth first, and then we're going we gonna, to uh, gonna get right on into it, okay? I just slick got ready for work just a little bit, um, so I don't have to rush to do that. And I'm so mad because I just recorded so much, and it didn't even save. So let me get y'all to run down again. So just a little backstory. Um, Everybody know I met Manny's at the store. When I met him, he said he had nothing going on. He did tell me that he just got out of a relationship. But, you know, like, him and his ex, like, that was that. Um, so... I just want y'all to know how I was bamboozled. So, as time went on, or whatever, it was no communication from the ex. Like, it was good. Um, but I think she used to watch, they used to, she used to watch my TikTok before, like, she, before she found out I was with him. And one day, I ended up posting on my TikTok, and she ended up seeing that, and she sent him a bunch of emails, because she was blocked at the time. She, she sent him a bunch of emails, basically just going off on him. She was really going off on him, but the bitch was directing towards me. So I called her phone. I said, hey, straight up, you want to slap somebody? Come slap me tonight, bitch. Um, she didn't want to do that. You know what I'm saying? Like, she went about that, about that. So, cool. I told her, whatever beefy I got, keep between y'all. Do not put me in it. So, uh, that's just a little backstory. That's how I ended up getting her number. Because people ask me, like, oh, how did y'all even get each other number? I called them. I don't do the email. What's up? You're not blocked from my shit. Hit me up. Stop playing me. And then, she really was a fan of my TikTok. I think she used to follow me at one point until she sent her man on her. But I get it. If I was laying in my bed and I was scrolling on somebody's TikTok and I seen my ex just pop out just pop out in another relationship, that hurt my chest too. I feel like we could have talked about that. Woman to a man. I ain't going to say which is which. But yeah. Okay, so y'all, I'm finna try to tell y'all a story of how I found out they were still, you know, hunch, basically. I don't give a damn. And this, this is my side. This is how I found out. This is everything that happened to me. So if you want to take it to court, judge going to feel bad for me. And I'm going to win. So what? I ain't saying nobody's name. So, okay. Um, what happened? So basically, they are on the same phone plan or whatever. One day, me and Manus was on, was on live. And I ended up knocking his phone out of his hand. And I broke the screen. I mean, it didn't go black immediately. But like over, over time, it ended up going black. So one day he came and got me from work and he had a new phone or whatever. Now me, I've been with T-Mobile for like 10 years. I've been on, I had my own plan. I've been on somebody else's plan. And I know when you on somebody else's plan, you just cannot walk into T-Mobile and add a new phone to their line unless you are an authorized user. So that was already not adding up to me because it's like, how did you, first of all, where did you get the money for a new phone? He told me it was a promotion. So he paid nothing for the phone. Then he said he was an authorized user, so I said, okay, cool. But whenever he called me, her name would pop up. So I'm like, something's not adding up here. Her name would always pop up like she was the one that went and got the phone. Okay. <clears throat> Look past that. So couple I saw he got the phone, I think in like September. I didn't find out this out until like last week. So now it's November. So basically. From September to November, they've been doing whatever they do. And I ain't know nothing. 
So that's what I left off at. So he ended up getting the phone, right? Red flag number one. But my job, I go through phones. It was like his phone was clean, y'all. I swear, clean as it was. So I go through phones. He was um later. He eventually just told me the other day he was deleting every message, every call. Like every time she texts, he'll delete it. Every time he texts, she deleted because he already knew. Okay. So fast forward. Let let let's start there. They're on the same phone plan. She went and got a new phone. She went and got him a new phone. Okay. Um, one day him and his mama came and got me from work. His mama is real cool. Like she's so nice. I, I ain't gonna lie, y'all. I do love her. Like, oh my gosh, I just love. Like his mama is just so sweet. So she came and got. Well, they were both in the car, but so she came. They both came and got me from work. So we were. I don't even know we was going somewhere that day, or uh, whatever. But we was in the car, y'all. So out of nowhere. He ended up flipping out. Now, mind you, they be on the same phone plan. But since she had on the phone plan, she has the power to cut his phone on and off. So, every time she seen him on my TikTok, she would really just cut his phone on and off until, like, he did whatever she wanted him to do. So, I guess this particular day, I don't know if he wasn't holding up his end of the deal. I don't know if he was supposed to be with her that day. But he couldn't be with her that day because he was with his mother. And they had came and got me from work. I don't know. Let me make sure this still one. So... Yeah, so we we ride and I know where he starts flipping out. I already know what's going on. I I just I'm not gonna do too much because your mother's in the car, you know. Like, so I just sit back. I in my mind I'm like, yup, she didn't cut the phone off. His mama like like he's 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 like, oh my god, I'm sick of this shit. I'm sick of this shit. So his mama like, what's wrong with you, boy? Oh no, not you, bitch! You losing your damn mind, boy. Let's handle this whole. Aww. He like, just take me and get a new phone. I already know what the fuck that meant. She cut that motherfucker phone off. But why would she be cutting that motherfucker phone off? If you, why, what, what would y'all be, what would y'all be arguing about if she moved and she, um, and she not here? What's the issue? So I'm like, so I instantly, like, I, I ain't gonna lie, I'm in the back seat heated. Like I'm already know what's going on, but I'm keeping a straight face because I mean we using the couch your mom. So we gonna get him a new phone. She, I guess she takes him, blowing him up to my bring her the phone, or she gonna cut it off, whatever. So me, him, and his mama end up going to um get him a new phone. We pulled up to his grandma. So after we uh get him a new phone, we uh we was en route to take her back the phone. Now mind y'all, this bitch supposed to be removed, so I'm lost when we finna go drop the phone off in person. I know nothing. I swear to God. So, we send, so in the midst of us uh, about to take her the phone, we pull up to his grandma house so he can, um, the, like, get, you know, transfer all his information into the new phone. All right. So, while we sitting there, she blowing the phone down, back to back to back to back to back. The bitch just wanted a reason to see him. She didn't even want the phone. But don't worry about it. I'm in the car now, so I got full control. How about that? So, she calling. So, he, in, he frustrated because he don't know how to work. Like, he's trying to, like, move his information over. So, I ended up picking up the phone. She was like... Where Corey? I was like, he right here, he here, he what? So she was like, when did y'all bring my phone? I said, we on the way. She was like, don't come to my house, Nisha. We on the way, bitch. Bye. Hung up. No, I, I ain't gonna lie. I told her, I said, you don't have a house, bitch. And then I hung up. So, because that bitch ain't got no house. What is you doing? And the hood, to my don't come to your house. You ain't paid over you. Shut up, topics. Me. I can come wherever I please. Let me make sure you see you. So, in the hood, so after that, after he finally get all the information or whatever, he deleted everything, got the phone, break it. Break the whole, just like, because it was uh, one of those little galaxy flips, I think. I don't know. Bitch, I ain't had no injury or nothing. How long? Uh, so, he ended up breaking the bitch in half. Fold it back up. We get to her house. Uh, we get to her daddy house. I'm going to be good. I'm going to be good. I'm going to be cool. We, we get to her daddy house. But she's standing outside at the end of the street looking like a damn flamingo. with just all skinny. It's just she's in the middle of the street. Like, she about to whoop some. Girl, what? So we didn't pull up to the daddy house. We pulled up to the stop sign because it's like a stop sign right here. Then it's the street. And then on the other side, you know, it continues. So you have to cross the street to get to the daddy house. He held the phone out the window and said, here, actually, he told her, come get it. The bitch, wanna, I guess her, her, I guess the little Bambi legs didn't work. The dirt legs didn't work. The bitch shaking her boots or her flats. Her fucking flats, or should I say. Uh, to my arm the foot drag. Bitch, you only got, let's go shoe for shoe. I bet your foot dragging or every one of them. Anywho, um, so yeah. So he ended up just throwing the phone out the window. We pull out. Mind y'all, I'm blocked. I'm blocked. 
Can y'all believe that bitch unblocked me? And I'm talking about I went to, I'm talking about, I'm talking about I started blowing my shit down. Talking about my daddy. Talking about my daddy a vegetable. Your dad's a vegetable. Literally. Keep it up. I'm, I'm going to show y'all a text message. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't hiding nothing. I'm going to show y'all the text messages because it's called the truth. So I'm, I'm going to insert the text message in there and just tell y'all what happened. Um, but yeah, but y'all know me. I'm a comedian. Half of these jokes, half of the jokes got a little truth in them. So she texts me. She's like, oh, yeah, I've been, I've been doing it in your bed. Bitch, you've been doing it, but you ain't been doing it in my bed. She been trying to get back at me ever since that day she found out that I had did it in her bed. But my thing is, Magnus told me that that was somebody else's house. I didn't know that was your house. If you want, if you want somebody, if you want somebody to believe that's your house, make it a little girly. You know what I'm saying? If a bitch come here, they gonna know it's a bitch house. They gonna they, turn around. This is not yours. This is a girl that's staying here. I didn't see nothing. You must have packed up all them fucking flats and took them. Which you should have left a shoe. I would have known some. But anywho. I, I, like, I, I'm not even like that. The man told me he had nothing going on, like, I don't know. But she just, she choose to believe him because, you know, dick. So she started texting my phone. So his mama, I, I showed him the phone while we in the car. Now this bitch act like he can't read. Bitch, you know what they say. You see the girl say y'all was just together. So now he want to fight. Keep in mind, y'all, whenever man is want to fight somebody, they're not lying on them. They're telling the truth, and now he's been exposed. So... He like, oh, I'm finna go fight her. Cause I already know now, now she ruined my now she messing up what I got going on. You messed up what you had going on. I told you nipped that in blood a long time ago. You stayed on the phone for well, this is all your fault. So she texts me or whatever. Now I'm in the back seat, like now I'm getting heated, cause like what I got to do with this. So his mama like, oh, she just bothering you. She just want clout. Stop using that clout. She everybody wanna use that clout. The bitch ain't got no clout. Like what clout is she gonna get off me? No, like every, like everybody be trying to, oh, they just want clout, they just want clout. I'm still a regular bitch at the end of the day. Y'all act like I'm on Good Morning America. It's not that much clout I can give a bitch. So it's like, I'm really not trying to hear that, but you know, he's mama nice or whatever. So she's like, oh, she just want my son. My son, not a cheater. To you. It is disrespectful to for you. one woman. Red. To you. It is disrespectful. To you. That's when she lost me. I, I, I did let that go. But he don't cheat on you. He cheats on He gets down. He don't play. That's the fastest cheater I know. What do you mean? But anywho, and his mama said this. I'm so sorry. I, 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 I look. <sighs> but yeah. So she was like, oh, my son, not a cheater. So I, I'm like, okay, cool. Like, I'm in front of his mama. But he he already tell her, he, he already know her. So he tell his mama, like, she not going to let that go. Like. I'm finna deal, deal with this when I get home. So, we end up going to his mama's house. You know, we walked the dogs. Everything good. Like, I ain't overreacting. I ain't flipped out. I ain't did nothing. So, I'm like, all right, I'm just live back on. Be back on. Y'all know how she is. Like, I started in the bitch up so bad, the bitch had to block me. So, uh, type her message out. And then send, unblock me, then send her message. I, I just, I knew the whole was delusional when she said I was obsessed with her. But you have 17 TikTok accounts following me. You... I said, you literally unblocked me to tell me something, but I'm obsessed with you. Okay, you got that. You won. Because you, you literally insane in the membrane. So, yeah. Fast forward. Leading up to how I found out. So, the next week, I'm at work. Magnus and his mom about to come pick me up again. I think Magnus and his mom need to quit come picking, uh, need to stop picking me up. You know? <laughs> maybe, maybe that's the issue. Um, They come pick me up again. But before they came and picked me up, you know, I'm sitting there chilling. I get a phone call from my sister. My sister like, oh, why is maintenance at the mall telling my niece ex-boyfriend about my niece new boyfriend? So I'm like, huh? Like, he just made me in her stylist get the argument, so I'm going to put it past him. He gossips. That's what he do. He, he do be telling people business, but he ain't got friends, so it's like, I don't think he know he be putting people business out there, but it's like, you know, he ain't got no friends, so he ain't got no code to go off of. You know, he ain't got no, he don't know how to shut the fuck up. That's what I'm trying to tell people. See, I just, I just learned him, you know what I'm saying? He just, he just misunderstood it. 
sometimes. And sometimes I hate that I understand the bitch. But anywho, so my sister like, yeah, he done went to the mall and told, basically told my niece's boyfriend everything that my niece got going on. So I called him and I'm like, why would you do that? I'm like, that's too far. Like, that's not your fucking business. Like, now you fucking with my niece. I don't like, I don't play with you like that. It's one thing to tell my business because him and his ex used to on the phone and talk about me. It's one thing to tell my business, but now like, now you just going too far. So he instantly gets mad. Now he want to go fight my niece's ex. What I told y'all, when he want to fight somebody that is not lying on him. They're not lying. He just been caught. I'm sorry. I keep getting up because I got to make sure it's still going. So, uh, now he want to fight. He told me just find a way home from work. He want to come in. He still end up, like him and his mama still end up coming or whatever. So, I'm just like, so he ended up getting mad, blowing up. But everybody was like, if it's not true, why is he getting so mad? I told everybody, I said, put a pause on this shit. I'm going to figure it out. So, my sister was still trying to figure it out because she thought it was somebody else that went and told my niece business or whatever. But I'm like, no. I'm like, I'm going to figure it out. It's, it's got to be him. So, this is how I ended up finding out. Let me tell y'all. So, him and his mama come give me. Uh, I don't know what we did that night. Like, I was playing the cool. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't mad. Even when my business that was just put out there. Like, I wasn't mad. I wasn't doing that. I was chilling. You know, like, we laughing. We playing. We talking. I get home, me and Manny's get home, I'm making cinnamon rolls. But something in me cannot let it go. Something like, Nisha, now is the time to find the fuck out. Like, go. Let me make sure you're still going because this is the juicy part. So me and him in the kitchen, I'm making cinnamon rolls. I look at the bitch, I say, let's play truth or drink. Now when you get set up, I, set up, I don't have a drink in my hand. Oh, he claimed I had water, but he be lying. That's what he do. He just, how the fuck you just going to put something in my hand? I know I didn't have it. So we're gonna go, we're gonna let him say that he's claimed I had water. No, I didn't. But anywho, I said let's play truth or drink. He bust out laughing. He said, okay, I just I just asked him off real. How many bitches you fuck? This year, he said three. I said three include me. So it's four including me. So he didn't fuck three bitches. I said name them. He named two, but he won't name the last one. Now, one I had already knew about, the other one I had already knew about. But this last one, but you told me that bitch moved, which is his ex. He told me she stayed somewhere else. Whole time, whole time. Now, now it's coming back to me. Now it's coming back to me. His the day he got that phone, he went into T-Mobile. My niece ex working T-Mobile. He knew he was supposed to be in there with that bitch, so he ended up telling my niece business to get the heat off of him, so they won't come back and tell me. That's how I found out he still been creeping with his ex. So the day she, I guess the day she wanted his phone, I guess he didn't come over there. So basically she been paying him to come, um, you know, do do strange things for a piece of change. But my thing is, what kind of what kind of girl pays their ex to come hunt to do that? If I hit my ex up right now, it's like, uh, did you you want to get down to get down? I bet you they want to charge me $20 for it. You know what I'm saying? Uh so that is really how I found out. He was like, oh, she been buying, she been sending me gas money to come get you from work. How down bad are you, bitch? But I'm delusional. I'm obsessed. So, yes, basically from um, September to now, they been riding around town. I guess he get out and hunts for $40 or $300 a week. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe they had a sugar mama, sugar baby relationship going on. But I don't know. I just said I found this out. I, I ain't knew nothing. And then everybody be like, oh, you still with him? It's because, like, bitch, when I found out, it's like, it's been happening. So it's like, I can't just, I don't know. But judge me if you will. I don't know. I am I am young and dumb. Um, and people be asking me, like, oh, are y'all, like, are you in love with him? I don't know. I ain't no between side. Like, I'm just freaking this shit out. I really don't give a damn no more. You know what I'm saying? Um, so after that, oh, oh, because I have a TikTok video. So, okay, after he ended up telling me basically that him and the ex was still messing up, after I ended up finding all this information out, I basically had went silent for two days. I just went silent for two days. I'm not gonna lie, my feelings was hurt. Like, come on, it's like you've been letting this, I feel like he been letting this bitch bother me for so long. And it's like, I feel like she had the ups on me. You know what I'm saying? You don't do that. Bitches get fucked every day. At least tell me so when this bitch texts on my phone, like, I'm not saying look stupid. Like, oh, you're mad. You just want him the whole time. No, she's having you. So I just went silent for two days or whatever. I still ain't said nothing. So he been trying to like 
make it up to me or whatever. So we ended up going to like BJ's uh, brew house one day to get some drinks. I had two long eyelids. I'm telling y'all. Let me make sure you see it going. I had two long eyelids, y'all. I got so fucking lit and belligerent. I had to leave them all. It's like I was on the phone talking to my sister. And then out of nowhere, some just clicked. I told my sister, because I was yelling in the mouth. So my sister was like, you need to quit doing all that in the mouth. So I told my sister, bitch, you're grown. Like, bitch, you, not, you can't with my ass. What? So, and that's what clicked. I thought about it. I'm saying, Nisha, you let everybody sit in your face and play with you. I turned around to Mace. I said, take me to the bitch house right now. And from that point, it was up. I kicked his windshield out on accident. Y'all, I was drunk and out of my mind. I was just thinking about her calling my daddy a vegetable. You don't know my daddy, but you ready, you ready to get your you ready to get your ass rocked for a nigga that you're paying to come do it with you? What type of shit is that? You're you calling my dad all types of all types of names when your daddy is literally a walking zombie. Uh daddy have it ass. So anywho. Like, I'm like, your daddy listen to Walking Zombie. So that was like, I ain't gonna lie, that was like, eat me up, like, by my dad. Like, I don't care what my dad like. You can say whatever you want about me, but don't. Why is you, like, why is you bringing my dad into this? So they end up, basically, I end up kicking his wind, wind, windshield out. Uh, he had to pull up on the side of the road. My sister and my niece had to pull up. They was trying to get me in the cars. I was not getting the cars. I was really trying to go fight. I'm calling her. This how I know she's scared. She don't want to fight me. She just thinks she was gonna taunt me and run me out like she did everybody else. No. Bitch, I'm on there. What's up? Let's go. But she's, they said she's never going to fight. They said she get, uh, she got beat up one time and accepted defeat within the first five seconds and couldn't do nothing but laugh. So, yeah. So, it's like, I don't even think I want to fight her because it ain't like she going to give a damn. So, yeah. And she swear I'm obsessed with her. Yeah, I ain't going to lie. I call that bitch every day. Get up. Bitch, you harassed me? She, you was obsessed with me. I said nothing. So, yeah. That's basically what happened. But I'm going to upload the video from the mall. No matter how bad they is treating you, you put your glasses on and you never let them see you sweat. That's advice from the realest. <laughs> Get your daffies. So I'm gonna say, what happened? Bill went to Tim Mob and told my niece business, but he was in Tim Mob with his old bitch. <laughs> so that's what happened. He didn't want to get caught hanging out with his ex that weighed 19 pounds. Did that bitch in the counter pull her out, she's still 19 pounds. I would break that bitch in. I know I'm can't fight one fight, don't fight. But that hoe, I ain't gonna lie. Girl, I would break your ass in half unless somebody mad me. That's on John Arthur Nelson Jr. <laughs> I don't know if he a junior or a senior. Straight up. She called my daddy a vegetable. Her daddy's on drugs. He's literally a zombie. Her daddy has a part in the walking dead as one of the infected. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> so a lot took place off camera. Like, I ain't even got no time in this video to tell y'all what happened. But let's just say, um, I get like that and I turn into Krishan just a little bit, you know? Uh, I do apologize <laughs> and stuff so y'all can see I'm gonna show y'all his car windshield so yeah basically that's what happened I guess he was a sugar baby to his ex